if your hair is very flat, especially throughout the top area and through here, it's just all one length, it hangs down, there's no movement, no volume whatsoever. Well, there's kind of an easy fix, which I'm gonna show you today. It does include using hair cutting comb, which I do sell this, and scissors, which I do sell my own scissors as well. If you are not a professional, I always say, go get it done at a salon, get it done with a professional, but if you're absolutely in complete desperation to do this, and your hairstylist or whoever can't seem to get it right, here is you know, something I'm going to share with you that could be very, very helpful. So the reason it may be very, laying very flat is that there's no layers. That's what it comes down to. When you look at this mannequin right in through here, right? So this hair from the, the scalp, where it grows from, reaches all the way down to the very length, which means it's one length. This one piece, one length all the way to here. What does that mean? Well, because there's no layering, it's very, very heavy, it just causes it, the weight of it to lay flat. So if you're somebody who you feel like you have too much volume and you may want the hair to lay a little bit flatter to the head, this is ideal for you to have the hair a bit more one length because of the weight of it. But if it's just laying here like a mop on your head, you hate how it is, then let's explain and do a great solution for this. When you're combing the hair, and I suggest doing this dry, you can pick, say, a section up like so. Now, by doing this yourself, you're gonna try to have the comb work in sync with your fingers. So you're gonna comb, grab the hair with your fingers. Comb, grab the hair with your fingers, right? It's like this, let go, grab it, let go, grab it. So once you get in the hang of doing that, it's gonna be a lot easier. So what are you seeing right in through here? Let me turn the mannequin head so you can really get a good visual. You're seeing all of this hair. Notice how this is short right here, and this is really long right in through here. The reason is because, guess what? That's your length right there. That is where you want the hair to sit. That's what you like, you like the length. But what you don't like is how heavy it is. So what do we need to do? We need to layer it, and that means removing the weight. So the best way to do this, and again, you can do this, you can try this at home, you know, but this is where I'm gonna help show you, is you let that hair either fall out of your hand or what you do is you cut on top of that. And guess what? That is where we're removing the weight. You're probably going, oh my gosh. But notice now, as this falls, do you see what's happening? What's happening is that it's falling in layers. And now this whole section right here in the front is not so heavy anymore. How do we take that even a step further? Well, we can take that same section and now continue this going back towards the top of the head. So there's all the weight we removed. Well, guess what? Now we're gonna continue to keep removing that weight and layering it. And what we're doing is we're creating a kind of rounded shape to follow the head shape and to create more volume and softness throughout the entire hair. And if you can reach, then fine, you can go all the way to the back. If you can't, you can comb the hair upwards like this, and then you can bring everything to that one point and trim it. So now what you've done is you've literally created and removed all of that weight coming from here throughout the entire top of the section. So <laughs> you, know, you can't just stop there, you gotta do this in the, in the entire top of the head. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna comb the hair straight up that section, you're gonna see the guide underneath, and you're gonna cut the longer hair that is peeking through that guide. And what that is doing is it's acting as a source for you to follow, that's why we call it a guide, and it's allowing you to create a more precise type of shape. You can bring everything to this one point. Now, it does get a bit more complicated, you know, because there's a lot to it. It's not just easy as pick this up and go. And, you know, there's a lot that goes into understanding this from a professional standpoint. I've spent years and years figuring this out. So, but what I want to do in this video is, you know, if you are a professional, then this is going to be great. You're going to hopefully get a lot out of this. And if you're at home and you're going to somebody and they just can't seem to get it right, you can literally comb your hair upwards and you can do the exact type of procedure that I did 
by combing the hair up and, and, and seeing this, just come all the way down to there, and then you can determine if it's one length. You could say, well, clearly the person cutting my hair is not doing it right. I need more movement, I need more texture. And then when you run your fingers through it, and you can see, now, look at it, look at it. the whole haircut has come to life. This is great for doing like, you know, a shag type of haircut. It's great for adding some sort of layers. If you want the hair to, you know, flip up, you want that kind of like more TikTok type of look. All of this now is a lot, it's a lot more weightless and you can, you can do much more with the styling. It's great for, you know, something like Tidal Wave. When you spray this in when it's wet, you're going to style it. It's gonna really, really help support that haircut. I know this is gonna be helpful for a lot of you. Let me know in the comments below if you did find this video helpful. Don't forget use code YouTube20. That's 20% off all my products at shop.thesalong.com and it's 50, it's free shipping on $50 and higher for orders. So thank you, we'll see you soon.